Now back to the information you need to succeed and David Cohen on the Small Business Big Ideas Show on rtds.ca. All right, welcome back to the Small Business Big Ideas Show. Our guests... You know, they say, some say he needs no introduction at all. Well, this is the shortest introduction I've ever uh, had for a guest, I think, ever. It's Emmanuel Lopez, a.k.a. Motivator Man, author, motivational speaker, and movie blogger. And uh, welcome, Emmanuel. Hey, David. It's a pleasure to be on your show. Please. Well, it's a pleasure having you. We're talking movies. Yeah. Uh, cool. Where did your passion for movies come from? Uh, you know, my passion for movies has been there since birth. <laughs> I've been so excited uh, growing up because my whole family loved, mo- loved movies. My dad introduced it to us at a young age, and, and, and it inspired my, my career as an illustrator, and then I wanted to turn it into a career as a motivational speaker because movies really helped me in, in the darkest times of my, my adult life. So just wanted to share the, some of those motivational movies with people around the world through my blog and through keynotes and lectures. So I, I love it. I love movies. So what would a, a keynote, you know, be about? Like, what movies do you talk about? Well, it depends on what keynote. Uh, um, I've got uh, a title called How to Press Play When You're Stuck on Pause. Right. So I would talk about movies such as Groundhog Day, um, you know, that uh, really great movie with Bill Murray uh, where he lives his a day, the same day, over and over again. And it's a metaphor for people out there who basically are stuck in some sort of time loop, you know, like just they can't break out of relationships that, that keep repeating. And, and it's all about breaking that mindset. This something inside you has to change in order for the, the external life around you to change. So, when did you see movies then as a metaphor for life? And, and, and when did you start watching with this sort of new um, eye, I guess, as it were? Because most of us go to the movie, we just want to be entertained. Wow, that was good. Yeah. Did you see that Rocky fight? That was amazing, you know? You know, you know it's um, uh, my experience, uh, uh, I feel, is just the same as anybody who who wants to just escape from their, their problems, you know, into a movie. And I think the difference is that the, something would happen in the movie. Uh, here's an example is, is Jerry Maguire. You know, during the depression I was going through back in 2000, I was stuck on my couch, unable to get up, and Jerry Maguire comes up on the television, and I've watched this movie many times before, and... Suddenly, I'm watching the beginning in a whole new light where Jerry Maguire is going through his own breakdown. And I, my heart disconnected, and, and, and I just said, wow, that's me. And by watching the movie and seeing how he breaks out of that, uh, uh, that situation and he, he becomes more successful in his career transition, it... it showed me that I could break out of mine. And did you? You obviously did. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, you know, I mean, I, can, I, I, I continue to go through uh, all kinds of uh, adversities and, you know, having a, uh, come out of a, a bankruptcy that I, I dealt with last year, and uh, I continued to blog about the movies that helped me get through. Movies like Eat, Pray, Love, <laughs> you know, really helped me during during the summer last year, you know that movie with Julia Roberts, based on a true story. You know? How many movies do you see a year? I'm sorry. How many movies do you see a year? Oh, please don't ask me that question. That's that is, is that I have no idea. How, how <laughs> many tons of popcorn have you had? Come on, yeah, that's exactly. what I really want to know. You know, I let's just say that um, you know I I see dozens of movies a month. And uh, some of it uh, are, are recommended by by my readers of my movies that motivate blog. Some of them are ones that that I'm gravitated to, gravitating to. And um, I'll tell you, this summer is going is is so full of 
movies, I'm looking forward to because, uh, so, I, I mean, I love superheroes growing up. And the summer is chock full of superhero movies. All right. So, what, so what's okay? So first of all, you got a blog. You got movies that motivate from A to Z. Um, yeah. You 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 report on movies and what inspires you and what 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 other people can take away. What are what are then what are some of the movies we should be watching for this summer? Oh, okay. So um, this in June we've got a whole bunch. Now I grew up with the X Men comics. And I love them. Uh, that was my favorite comic book. And they have a new movie uh, called X-Men First Class, and it's coming out the first week of June. And I'm really excited because it's, it's called a prequel. So it's going to go back in time before the first X-Men movie where you get to see the main characters, the Professor X uh, when he's younger and uh, Magneto when he's younger, when they're both friends and... I'm just really excited. The, I'm jumping up and down right now. All right. So. Now, they say, you know, life imitates art. Or are we seeing movies this summer that are, you know, sort of, you know, in, in keeping with the times we're in? I mean, these are pretty interesting times we've been been in this past year or so. Oh, uh, well, I, I, if you're talking about, uh, you know, all the, the tornadoes happening. Yeah. And, and, <laughs> and, and uh, you know, I mean, there's always there's always change. You know, um, but I'm really, you know, I, I have to say that there's there's a, a number of superhero, superhero movies in June it, itself. You know, like Green Lantern is another one that I grew up with, and Ryan Reynolds is in it, and Blake Lively. So what's and, up with superheroes? Do you think there's this sort of, you know, thing in our collective consciousness that we, we you know, we're searching um, for maybe our own superhero? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I think so. You know, I, I really like that Hollywood has embraced superheroes because they, not only they escape as in films, but they're also a way for for it to mirror, you know, your inner strengths and and just activate your imagination. That's one of my favorite expressions. Is you know, just something to activate your creative mind and and just believe in the impossible and. You know that's that's what I love about about superhero films, and we're gonna we're gonna get a lot more, a lot more movies. All like right, that. and and okay, we got about three and a half minutes left here. So, any, any yes. other couple of nuggets to watch for this summer? Okay, well, there's the big finale of the Harry Potter series. Oh wow! Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part Two that's coming out in July, and oh man, I'm I'm excited about that one. Are, are you excited about that one? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> I love your honesty. <laughs> um, what else? There is... Oh, um, well, you know, the the whole uh, series of movies, Iron Man and Incredible Hulk and Thor, they are all leading to a big, big movie uh, combining all of these heroes called The Avengers. And in July, they're releasing Captain America, the first Avenger. So so that's that's the... It's just like a, a very ambitious uh, Hollywood treatment of a movie series where they're, they're, they're coordinating all of these movies so that it uh, all comes together in one huge, huge superhero team movie. Is it a battle for something or like, you know, is it a, is it a good and bad kind of thing? Or? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, something, of course, that, uh, you know, that's going to story that's going to threaten the earth and that, uh, um, you know, all these heroes have to come together and. Yeah, I mean, if I were to look at it metaphorically, that, that it's a it's a it's a great great message for people to to come together, you know, and uh, and help one another in, in times of trouble or whatever. But uh, um, I know that I'll be enjoying it as as just like fun escapism movies. All right. Um, what about a couple of good rainy day rentals? You know, it's raining. It's a Sunday afternoon. What do we What do we get? Oh gosh! Um, what, what are your top three picks? Well, you know, I happen to be watching Rudy again, um, based on a true story of Rudy Rudiger, and it's it's so uplifting for anyone who is following their dream, and you know, facing people that that are saying you can't do that, you can't do that. You know, Rudy Rudiger wanted to, uh, as a teenager, wanted to play for University of Notre Dame, and and he was he was really uh, you know, a short guy, and, and surrounded by people who said he, he couldn't do it, 
and you know this movie you you've got to watch it if if you're feeling down because uh it'll lift you up all right and man well um we're, we're almost out of time here what do you got going on and where do we tap into your you know your wealth of knowledge and your passion where do uh, we reach you well i uh you can reach me at motivatorman.com if you're an organization that needs a motivational talk on on how to transform a crisis mindset into an opportunity focused mindset then I'm your man. I'm going to talk about movies that can help you uh, inspire a mindset, become more optimistic, become more confident. And, uh, you know, I do lectures, keynotes, and seminars. And uh, you can go to motivatorman.com. You can take a look at my topics there. I've got one on, on leadership and one on social media, how to discover the power of social media. And, uh, and you can also check out my blog, Movies That Motivate, at my website, motivatorman.com. Well, I really thank you for this tonight. Uh, we'll have to have you back sooner rather than later to talk more about uh, movies, probably uh, as we get into the fall season, which is, you know, the film fest time. And so we'll have you back then, okay? That would be great. It would be an honor. Oh, it would be an honor having you. And thank you, Motivator Man. Hey, thank you, David. Is there a special saying that you got as Motivator Man? Yes, I'm a motivational superhero at your service. Oh, I love it. All right, that was Emmanuel Lopez, uh, motivator man, author, motivational speaker, and movie blogger. Check him out. Uh, he's got all kinds of uh, movies that uplift and inspire. That's it for our show. We are flush out of time. Have yourselves a terrific week. We'll see you next Monday.